ESPN Steelers reporter live in Pittsburgh. Brooke, TJ Watt finally back on the field today in team period of practice. What did his teammates have to say about his return? Yeah, Laura, rookie center Kendrick Green, I asked him, I said, hey, this is the first time you've ever seen T.J. Watt across from you. What did you think? And he said, man, I could really feel his presence out there. And you could feel that from the second he stepped on the field during the team period for the first time uh, since the Steelers reported in 2021. He was fist bumping guys, dapping up some other guys, and a guy who has known him for a long time, Joe Schobert, who played with him at Wisconsin. They're from the same hometown, said that's just classic TJ. He brings that energy everywhere he goes, and he would play football in a parking lot if you let him. But look, his Steeler teammates were talking about him before practice, too. Ben Roethlisberger was incredibly adamant and firm, sending a message to the front office when it comes to uh, their negotiations with TJ Watt. Look, if it were up to Ben Roethlisberger, the Steelers would have paid T.J. Watt and they would have paid him yesterday. But until then, we're all kind of sitting around here waiting for that white smoke to come from the Steelers to let us know that they finally got something done. Yeah, Brooke, you're on T.J. Watt contract watch big time there. It, it is an interesting and very strong statement uh, by Ben Roethlisberger Watt watch. I love it. Adam, are they any closer, though, to an actual deal here? Not right now, Laura. They are not any closer today than they were yesterday or last week, despite the fact that T.J. Watt was back at practice today. As far as the Buffalo Bills are concerned, the Steelers' opponent this week, they'd be happy if T.J. Watt decided not to play on Sunday and decided to get his new deal done next week. But right now, the two sides that continue to talk don't appear to be any closer. But look, this should be common sense. We always see a rush to get deals done before the start of the regular season. We saw the Minnesota Vikings today get a deal done with Brian O'Neill. They're starting right tackle. The Steelers would want, want to get a deal done. Watt wants to get a deal done. We'll see if they get done in time. Listen, man, this, this, this is more than just football, right? Like, we understand that T.J. Watt and his ability and the way he plays the game. But the bottom line is his influence and impact on the rest of the guys on this team. And not only that, face of the franchise pillar along with Cam Haywood. There'll be other guys, young guys, i.e. Mika Fitzpatrick, that's going to watch how this process plays out for one of the young budding stars defensively in Pittsburgh. So it's not just about on the field. It's about him being a pillar at this in this franchise and the face of it. Yeah, you know, even as we were watching what Brooke was saying and, and listening to her say that he's a guy that would go play in a parking lot. Yeah. If you want to. You've said that's just a football player. No right doubt. There. No doubt. And, and listen, it's hard to get all of it. It's right. hard. And, and it's hard to get all of it. A great guy, a leader, and he's the best player on your football team. It's tough to get all of that. It, mm. it, it really is. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.